Are you ready? It's the calm before the storm. In 90 minutes, these walls will be bombarded with savvy shoppers, people looking for deals. It is time for a dollar sale. I guess I gotta put out a sign that says dollar sale starts here at 8 a.m. That way people know they're in the right place. I have to make signs. Oh, excuse me. I have to make signs. There we go. Let's say everything's a dollar and scatter those all over the place. I have to put out the signs that are going out on the street corners nearby. And I have to put the letters on the letter board that says the sale is here and get that out. So we've got a bunch of these for larger things, stuff that goes outside. We've got these for the upper shelf so people don't try to buy them. This goes on the door before the sale starts and then these will be scattered throughout the building. So signs are up. We got these plastered all over the place. I've got these above the second shelf. Soon I won't need them. Once we get these doors up covering the whole place. Why does that one look crooked? Huh. Anyways, so that's where we're at. We've also got walk over here. This sign, which I will be putting outside. Hopefully that's not too wordy, but we got it all set up. I loaded up. I spent the past half hour just putting boxes outside. Those white boxes that I went through from the store buyout, I loaded outside. There's probably 20 or 25 of them out there. I put uh, a little bit of furniture out, restocked the tables a little bit. We are 35 minutes in and I just dropped to 20. 35 minutes into the sale. I have no idea how much we've made. I haven't even been up by the front talking to uh, the guy I have running it. I will say, however, Six minutes in, our parking lot was full. Um, also, I don't know if you're gonna see it. It, it, it. You would know if you saw it or not. I did a time lapse a second ago. I forgot about it, so it was running for 35 minutes. I don't think you're gonna see the whole thing unless I really speed it up. So, off to a slower start than I was hoping for. It's 9.13, so we're an hour and 13 minutes in. Uh, we're somewhere between 200 and 250. I've got, well, probably closer to 250. I get 210 in cash back here and then plus what he has in his pocket for change we started with 50 bucks so anything in excess of 50 that he has is profit today or sales today i should say oh one more thing it's loud they're mowing the lawns i almost forgot well not almost i did forget to remove my step stool from the dollar sale area surprisingly and no one bought it for a buck thankfully because it was out there for like two hours all right, things are starting to pick up. We're at 620 plus whatever he's got in his pocket, um, minus 50. I'm assuming he's got at least 50 in his pocket. I asked him, hey, how are you good on, how are you doing on change? He said, oh, I got plenty. So six, what I say, 620, and it has been two hours. It's 9.58 currently. Oh, this is starting to look really good. We are now, it's 11 a.m. on the dot. We are three hours into the sale, right? Eight to nine, 10, 11, so three hours into the sale. I've got 1110 in large bills, another 50 here in small bills, and I would estimate probably between 50 and 75 up front is what he has in change. Um, so math, what did I say, 1110, so probably 1160 to 1190, somewhere in that range in three hours. We might do 10 grand. We need 2,500 per day eight hour days we are almost halfway there granted it does slow down as we get later in the day but it could easily happen and the last sale each day got better substantially all right halfway through the day it is now 1207 by the way it is totally coincidental that i seem to be coming in every hour on the hour it's just when i see a buildup of 20s i uh bring them back in here 
Uh, we've got 1,530 in 20s or larger. Um, we started with 50. He's getting a little low on change, uh, bringing this out to him for change. So I would estimate maybe another, in addition to the 50 we started with, another 20. So about 1,550 halfway through the day. That, you know, halfway through the day, you would think we're going to do the same thing the other half, but usually it slows down as we move on throughout the day. Although it has been steady, um, we might hit that 2,500 target for today. What excites me is the possibility for a $3,000 day. I don't think it'll happen today, but it could happen during this sale. Here's why that excites me. Um, oh, my phone was sitting in here charging the whole time. Um, here's why that excites me. Up until recently, my dollar sales used to do about 3,000 for the entire weekend. So doing it in one day is amazing. That really excites me. I've never done a $3,000 day. The best I've done so far was 2,600, I believe. You'll have to go back. It was the final day, the Saturday of the last dollar sale. I mentioned the numbers in the video. That was the best day I've ever had. Second best was the day before that. All right, it is 12.56, so about one o'clock. I am gonna do a bank run because we are already low on change. So I'm gonna get $600 worth of ones, fives, and tens. Uh, but I've got $1,910 in large bills here. He's probably got, I would imagine 80 bucks or so, maybe a hundred. So we're probably looking at about 1950 or so. I think we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna hit the 2,500 today. 2,500 a day is 10 grand selling stuff for a dollar. Also worth note, um, there is a lot of Office Depot, a lot of Shopco stuff out there, but what's really moving is the Amazon stuff. And well, the stuff from Amazon, stuff from that store buyout. There actually isn't a lot from those Amazon pallets in this sale. A few boxes went out. Most of it's from that store buyout where I spent 2,500. We've got enough for two auctions. We've got one auction with a local company on their website right now. We've got another auction, or at least enough stuff for another auction that we'll be sending to them. I'm really excited. We're gonna, uh, words. I feel like I need to put a briefcase. It also reminds me when I was 16, had my first job at Kmart, I thought it'd be funny to cash my check in ones. So I did that quite often. So I got uh, 150 in small bills, 50 each in ones, fives, and tens. This morning, we already went through them all. Although we do have some, we're not like out of change or anything. But um, you know, weekends people often pay with 20s. So this way, hopefully we don't run out of change. We have run out of change before and it wasn't fun. Um, I can't imagine running out of change here. I've got 200 in ones, fives, and tens each, 200 each. That should suffice. Any more and it would really be overkill. I don't know. I'm in a good mood. You wanna know why? We hit the goal. I deposited $1,430. I've got 550 here, uh, which is the change. You saw that a minute ago. And then I've got 560 right here. Does that put us there? I counted the money he had out there too, but I think that puts us there. Uh, yeah. That puts us there. We hit the $2,500 goal. We can maintain this the next three days. We'll do $10,000 in this sale. Another thing worth note, this is all done without apparel. Had I done apparel? Oh man, double maybe? <laughs> but here's the thing. I could have maybe made an extra 10 grand selling apparel, but I can get that plus 7,500 selling it for a buck 75 in bulk. It just makes more sense to sell it that way instead. Look at the mess this place becomes during a day of sales. But we did really well. So it's 4.36. We closed 36 minutes ago. Uh, the last people just left. Don't get me wrong. I'm understanding. If you're going to be here an extra five, maybe ten minutes, okay. You're spending money. It's not a problem. But, I mean, 36 minutes. I shut the music off at about 10 after. We have music playing during the sale. I shut that off at about 10 after. At about 20 after, I brought all of this stuff in from outside, just stacked it in here. 4.36, they finally come and pay and leave. Oh, we are low on crazy glue. I think I've got a box of that. We moved a lot of stuff. Uh, rough guess, I would say probably about 27 to 2,800 bucks. 
I haven't counted yet. So we will, I mean, I've been counting throughout the day, but I haven't counted in the past couple of hours. So we'll see where we're at, but I gotta bring the sign in first. Another thing, I don't think we sold a lot of clothing here, so I'm gonna pull all of this and put more Amazon stuff on it. Worth mention, uh, it's gonna rain all day tomorrow. So I have to make sure we, you know, have enough stuff out. Of course it was a telemarketer. Uh, so anyways, it's gonna be pouring rain tomorrow, which could negatively affect sales or probably will. The main thing is because all the stuff we had on display outside will now have to be inside. And if it's raining really bad, we'll have to close the overhead door as well. Uh, hopefully it's just a light drizzle. We can at least leave that open. So that may affect sales. Additionally, Saturday and Sunday, it's gonna be in the 40s. I think 44 and 46. So that may affect sales as well. Uh, normally we've had these in December, January. Minus sub-zero temperature hasn't even been a problem, but it's the first cold days of the year. So people really aren't gonna wanna go out. So it's tough to say how we're gonna finish. This could end up being the best day or we can improve on it. We'll see. Grand total time. So here's what we got. First, I deposited 1,430. I actually deposited, uh, but I added this later. It was originally 1,910, but then I took 600 back. So it was 1,310, but I ended up finding some more bills. So it ended up being 1,430 in. So 1,430 deposited. This is 50, I started with 50, so we're not counting that. Uh, I've got 166. I'm bringing this back to the warehouse tomorrow because it's uh, small bills, just in case we need change. I've got 650 in the envelope. It's not on my desk here, but 650 for uh, this, this. Wait, I might have did this wrong. Hold on, it should be 550. Hold on. My bad, 550 in the envelope. Uh, it was 600. We used 50 of it for change. Uh, we've got 732 here. I left it out because I want to show you. Someone paid me a stack of $2 bills. There's $32 worth here. They're all newer. 2013. There were a couple of 2009. Nothing special. Uh, leaving me with a grand total of 2,878. This was the best dollar sale day ever. Uh, beating the 26 something 2600 and something from the last one. Is this my notes from the last one? No, this is for something else. So beating my 2600 something, we beat it. We're at 2878. That does not count the $50 we started with. I did pull that out. Make sure I don't have any more in my pockets. We're all good. That also doesn't count the coins. People do pay with change from time to time. It's not much. The last sale we did 5600, 14 or 45, 48 bucks of that was coins. I just add that up at the end. I leave it in a jar right by the counter. I don't even take it home like I do the rest of the cash and um, add it up at the end. So anyways, 28.78 today. I really hope the next three days can come close to that so we can do 10,000. That'd be so amazing. By the way, here's the bag of change. There's probably a good, I don't know, eight, 10 bucks in here. Day two. All right, we are back for another day. Haven't touched it since last night. Let me show you what I'm gonna do. It is, I got a late start. Well, later than I anticipated, it's about 4.30, 5 o'clock, something like that. I uh, woke up at 3.30, but couldn't get myself off the couch. So all of these used clothes, they re really weren't selling that well, so I'm gonna pull them. Uh, all the way down here, the shoes. We're going to pull all of that and replace it with more Amazon stuff. Um, probably not going to try and sell this stuff again, even though it only went through one day. It's probably just going to go right to Goodwill or St. Vinny's. And just like that, we've got it all emptied out. Obviously, I need to clean up the little bits that fell out, straighten up this room. The other thing is, it ends up looking like this after a day. So what happens is, when I set it up nicely, and actually display the stuff, where it doesn't look, that's an empty box. We get a lot of that too. It doesn't look like a huge mess like that. It just looks so much better. That's why Thursday, the first day, usually seems to do the best. Um, I do find a lot of empty boxes. I find it tends to be more so people are taking out of the box to look at what it is rather than theft. I have no idea what this was. 
It was a fifteen dollar price tag. I do remember I looked at it when I before I put it out, and it didn't seem. I think this might have been it. Um, but anyways, it'll happen. Someone will take it out of the box. You'll see it laying on the table next to the box, or they'll even buy it and just leave the box. People are trash. But um, you know, when stuff is displayed nicely like that, it's more likely to sell than when it looks like that or like that. And it's tough to really straighten up the tables without having an empty table and just moving it. That seems to be the best way to do it for me. So that's what I'm doing. Since I've just cleared off some tables, I'm gonna move some product uh, from one table to another just so we can straighten it up like that. And then we'll have extra space at the end to put more on. All right, we're gonna put one more case of wrapping paper out today. Um, I have to say which one I wanna do. Let's go with this one. It looks fancier. So looking at this, we're not really even promoting this as a Christmas sale. And we sold probably half the bows. I've got uh, six or eight of those bins full. But the next sale, we're really going to fill up with Christmas stuff and promote it as a Christmas sale. So I think it might be worth buying those next year. Remember, I only paid a quarter each for them. All right, we have to reorganize some of this stuff. This gonna go over here for some reason people are buying these i don't know why they were a dollar in the store but um i'm gonna have to do something about that people take them out of the cases to check them with their phones and then they just leave them out people are trash i'm a little surprised this edge banding hasn't sold yet that box was full we sold a lot of those fidget spinners are surprisingly moving well uh, let's see. Oh, this was the box of highlighters. Oh, looks like we sold most of the highlighters and then people started adding stuff to it. Like, why? I, I don't get it. But I've got two, at least one more bin full of those highlighters so we can refill that. Uh, sold, basically sold out of this. This is a much bigger one than what we had in there. I think I've got more of these somewhere, so I'll see if I can refill that. Dust pans can get refilled. Sounds like it's raining again. That could probably get refilled. What I'll probably do is just throw all those in a poly bag and sell it for a buck. Um, all right, is it raining outside? Look at all the spider webs. Wow. Let's find one. Nope, not looking at that one. Trying to see if it's raining outside. No, it doesn't look like it is. You can barely see. So, hey, you still have a selfie light. We're taking selfies. Um, so I'm gonna work on that. I'm not gonna be filming much of the progress, but I'll give you a quick update when I'm done, just because we are in a bit of a time crunch. It is 5.30 already. And uh, we open at 8. So we're about ready to open the doors. It's raining again. I have to quick put the sign up, but we've refilled the tables. I added more makeup and restocked it. A few more things on these bottom shelves, including these. And uh, what else? Clipboards. And we restocked those. Brought stuff up here. And then I'll show you the office quick. Oh, I still have some table space in here to fill. Well, that can happen later. I have to get the sign out. So I pulled the $50 out. That's what we started with. And look at this, $31.68. Not long ago, that was a really good sale, like a whole weekend. I did that in a day. We are now over $6,000 for the sale, two days in. I think we might hit 10 k If people are going to come in rain, it were dropped to the 40s. They're going to come in the 40s the next two days. Although we may get a little snow Sunday. It's just going to be a little dusting in the morning, I'm thinking, hoping. Um, I'm really excited. We could do 12 grand. I really think I'm going to do my $10,000 goal. So 6,046 is the two-day total plus uh, whatever we happen to have in coins. Maybe 15, 20 bucks. It's not a lot. Um that's amazing. I've already beat last month, last month's sale uh, by like 400 bucks. And we still have two more days to go. All right, so tomorrow binders are going two for a dollar. I've got those. 
couple of boxes over there and a couple of cases down there. Um, some of these nicer ones were moving. Those are all sold though. That one's busted. That's probably why that one's still here. But these were originally 65 cents. So we're going two for a buck to see if that uh, clears those out. Uh, what else? This place became such a mess. Looks like we sold a decent amount of books. Um, I did pull, I sold these out yesterday. I pulled some more out today. I don't even remember what the other books were. Um, there's one like Code Breaker. I know there's, oh, that's right there. Forgetting the Curve, that's what I'm thinking of. Uh, this one would have been right here. I'll have to look at my video from uh, yesterday to see what books are gone because I might be able to restock some of them. It just, look how clear these tables got though. It just, people make such a mess of things, but what would happen is I'd see tables starting to clear out. So I'd start bringing out boxes of stuff in half an hour of running around like crazy, bringing boxes out. And then I look at the tables are even more empty than before. So we're really racing. These actually shouldn't even be in the sale because I'm getting like two bucks or so after fees on Amazon, but I've got a ton of them. Uh, a couple of these I found, that box, that box, and that box that went out late. Uh, I put one of these out you saw this morning. Uh, refresh this. This one was almost sold out yesterday. I put a new one out. That sold out. This is the third box, and that's all I've got for those highlighters. That will probably sell out tomorrow. These are doing pretty well, actually. I've probably sold about half of what I had out here at five for a dollar my cost is 30 cents on five of them um but shopco not even worth looking at the cost i've made so much money already on them the makeup i'm gonna load up on makeup i'm thinking this whole section of shelving and this one or maybe this one and that one and we're, we're really gonna load up on the makeup because it's doing really really well i put two bankers boxes full these were already full I filled them up again this morning, and then during the sale, I put two bankers boxes out, which is about 500 pieces in each one. So I put an extra thousand pieces out. I think that's, now we didn't sell a thousand pieces because we added a box and whatnot, but um, I really think we probably did a good four or 500 bucks worth of makeup. Uh, and I probably have over 20,000 pieces. Uh, let's see, this cleared out. Some random stuff got tossed in it. This, is all I've got left for crazy glue. This did really well. This little bit, and I think there's some on the rack. Let's take a walk over here. Um, I need to replenish these. I've got, right there is full of them. So crazy glue. Yeah, there's a little bit left over here on the rack yet. Uh, what else? I'm gonna go through some of this stuff tomorrow. I'm pretty sure there's not gonna be much for the sale, but you never know. Uh, here we go, these. So I sold out of these. The lady said she wanted six more, and I thought I had more. Right up there in that opening, I grabbed a box. Turns out it was placemats, not table runners. So I had to basically refund her the extra six bucks because I didn't have any. Uh, they were right there. So that was a bummer, but uh, these are doing pretty well. And these, their price on them, there is not... Not a price on any of them. I, I know I paid not much, uh, maybe 20 cents at the most. That would mean they were $10 in the store. Um, you, you just see the stuff is clearing out. These things just do not seem to want to sell. I don't know why. We're really, really clearing out here. Uh, put out the last of the DVDs and CDs this morning. Looks like it's pretty cleared out. We may end up pulling this rack and putting something else here by the end of the, by the, end of the sale. Looks like this box is just about empty. I have to go through and really reset this. Um, nobody wants the tile at four for a buck. Uh, let's see, these, wow, this was full. These are doing really well, these Packers ornaments with the names on them. A lot of people are still buying 2019 planners for some reason. Uh, that box was pretty full this morning. Phone cases, I really need to go through the phone cases and I don't know that I'm gonna have time because people are opening them uh, to try them on their phone and just tossing the loose case back in. So there ends up being a lot of like this, for example, empty boxes. <laughs> I must have missed one of these. It's a belt for adult activities. Uh, what else? 
I've seen a lot of these ornaments going through. Emptied out a bag of bows. I put another one out. Uh, we sold out of the um, wrapping paper this morning. That seems to sell out in the first hour every day. We've got one more box left. No one wants the 2018 stockings. There are, I did see a couple of the, the undated ones. These I think are going to do really well. I just put these out within the last 30 minutes or so. It's a two pack of uh, molds for Christmas trees. So you can have a moldy Christmas tree. Uh, what else? Let's take a look in that office area here. Cleared out a lot. I did not restock this room very much, but look at how much of a mess it became. The other thing though is all of these I put in here and they were all a lot more full than this. So all of it, basically the customers restocked it for me. But look at the mess these people make. I'm really going to uh, have to take some time. I might come in at three tomorrow morning just because it's gonna be a lot of work getting this place reset. No one wants that monitor stand, I don't know why. It's gonna be a lot of work getting this place reset. Oh, got one of these left. I restocked these with the last of them. Cost is $13.92, tough to see there. I paid 5% of that, that was an Office Depot item. So 14, that would be 70 cents I paid for each of these. And I'm very happy to have gotten rid of them. But we've got one left apparently. Uh, they were all stored up here. And you can see open space. I need to look at what's up here too. I have no idea. Looks like some more of those table runners there. Uh, these are all of these floaties, these things. Uh, selling here and there, not a lot. I might go two for a buck. Remember, I only paid 10 cents each on them. I think I've probably sold enough where I can say I've broken even on all of them, though. So that's not that big of a deal. So that's kind of where we're at now. I pulled two of these jewelry trays because they kind of emptied out. I was able to condense them. Uh, surprisingly, none of these selling. A dollar really isn't a bad deal on these. Um, oh well. So that's where we're at. So I think that's going to be it for today. And uh, you'll see tomorrow for me, a couple seconds later for you, uh, what we how we set up tomorrow. So I went through all these upper shelves and cabinets to pull stuff for this sale. We've got a box of Shaco Health and Beauty Aids. These were up there because they didn't sell in the last sale, but we're gonna try them again. All of this is Shopco. Um, we got some Office Depot. Now these are going to Amazon. These are not. I will be losing money on these, but again, I've already profited on the entire store as a whole. Uh, more than double my money. We might be pushing triple by now. And these aren't worth anything online, so let's move them. Uh, we've got these. I think this is also Office Depot stuff. Yeah, more of those. I've got a ton of these pencil cups. They're moving well. Not amazing, but I'll probably sell through this box tomorrow or over the course of the sale. Uh, let's see. I've already got these out and they're selling consistently. I'm going to put these the box somewhere else, though. What else do we have? More of these, and this should be it for them. There's the paper trays in there. People don't seem to want those. More of these sits baths. And then all this is just more Shaco general merchandise. This, I figure someone will pay a dollar for it. The lid's broken. That's how I got it. It was $15.99 in the store. It looks like we might have a little crack here in the corner too. So that's it. That and all that Kleenex up there was doing all right at two for a buck. Um, I forgot today to put it up, but I found some laying around in the upper shelf. So I just tossed it down here to remind me. Um, oh, we get this box too. These, they're plastic. $11.99 was the retail price. I don't know why. Um, but we've been, I've sold a few already. The few that I had out all sold at a buck each. So I think these will too. So we're going to go through all of that. Now let me show you what's left of that store buyout. We put most of it out already. I pulled enough for maybe two more auctions, the local auction company, nicer stuff like this. That's just garbage. There was a lot of empty packages and stuff in there too. Um, notice these emptying out. By the way, yes, this bathroom is only used for storage, has toilet issues. This is it. This is all that's left. Now, other than the shopping cart, all of this, this is stacked double height. All of this 
is going to an auction, a uh, local auction company. These gray totes as well, the stuff in them at least. All of this is from that store that I bought out, that discount store. So it's all Amazon stuff. It's all items that I think I can walk away with five bucks or more. I didn't say anything too crazy, you know, five to ten dollar items. Uh, but I mean, that's probably going to net me another two thousand to three thousand um, dollars. Local auctions do really well with this type of stuff. I'm so excited. Most of this sale, I'd say about 60 percent of this sale is that that buyout. And, uh, you know, we already did over six thousand dollars. So I've already profited on that. No question. So in the last dollar sale, someone paid in quarters and I get a silver quarter. I haven't checked the coins now, but whenever I get them, I check. I've only worked for like three hours as far as, you know, cashing out over this week. McDonald's getting dinner and look at this. I found a silver certificate. I got it back in my change. It's a 1957B. It's in really nice condition. Um, got it back in my change. So that will definitely go in my collection. It's not part of the dollar sale. But I got silver in a way during the dollar sale weekend. Uh, I did go back in. I was in the drive thru. I went back in and said, Hey, do you have any, can you check the register for more of these? And he did, but there weren't any. So that was kind of neat. Day three. So I keep forgetting to grab this. That's how easy it is to steal this $150 camera. Thankfully, no one stole it. But uh, there's no need for that camera during the sale. Plus, I've got multiple cameras higher up in the air, so if something were to happen, we can see it. Uh, or if someone were to break in at night or something, we'll still be able to see them. It's just that one that's very easy to steal, so I won't always like to take that down. Oh, I can barely walk through here. There's so many empty boxes. All right, let's get lights on. We're going to get set up. This is what I mean when I say people trash this place. They left a cup of coffee here like half full spilled out everywhere so what i'm doing is i'm clearing off a table into this and then i'm going to kind of shift everything over in a more organized fashion and it'll stay organized for about the first 20 minutes so you know doesn't this just look so much better than the stuff just all piled on top of each other so much better than for example this this looks like boxes were just poured out I've been finding so much of this stuff and empty boxes for phone cases and whatnot. I think some of it's probably theft. I think most of it's people taking it out of the package and then just leaving it thrown out onto the table. I've thrown out some things like this sash. Oh, this is a sash. Oh, this is part of a banner. Yeah, we can sell this. Um, but some things I've thrown out like loose socks where some of those bags were a pack of socks. I found one. Um, People are just garbage and treat this place like garbage, but I make money doing it, so it's still worth it. Um, I think we'll condense these books a little bit. Let's do a time check. It is 5.51, so we're getting uh, to the end of my time here. Uh, I'd probably say 7.15. I have to be done and pulling the sign out. These two, people are opening these and just leaving them out. Prime example. Oh, this is a lot softer than it looks. Um, so I'm just trying to get this straightened up as best as I can. I'm not really bringing much fresh merchandise out, although there is the stuff that I brought down from the upper shelves yesterday that's going on on the tables. But I'll do most of that once the sale starts. I'm just trying to fill out the tables and make them look nice. Uh, when the tables are a little bit more neatly organized, it is much more likely to sell than when it's just piled up and looking like trash. So I found some more command strips yesterday. See how dark this is? Look how nice that looks. I put uh, four LED lights. The lights actually came from Toys R Us. I think I mentioned this earlier in the video. I just zip tied these because this cord isn't long enough to uh, reach it all the way across to here, to this beam. So I just zip tied it for now. And um, once I find more cords, I have to figure out what these cords are called. They're these little, these little three prong things. Once I figure out what they're called and can order more, then 
I'll be able to order some. Also, I'm not going to have enough lights uh, because I still need two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. I need sixteen more, and I have no more cords left. I think I've got like three or four lights left. So I've got three lights there, and I've got one here. This is the lights that was in it before. You see, I would need an electrician to get one of these things hooked up to a light switch, and they're just fluorescent lights. Uh, they're heavy, they get hot. Even though they were sitting right below that shelf, that's what was on there in the store in Office Depot. I decided these ones from Toys R Us are much better. They're easier for me to install, install and I may need to spend a couple hundred bucks to you know, get another 12 lights, plus the cords and whatnot. But I just need to plug them in. I can do a wireless light switch to connect them. It's that easy. Beyond that, you know, I don't need to spend a thousand bucks for an electrician to come in and wire it all up. All I need to do is buy the lights. They're also not going to be a hot, you know, LED run, runs a lot cooler. So anything above the lights there, I don't need to worry about it getting damaged from heat. It's a cold one today. So a couple of quick updates. It is 1043 AM. So we've been open for almost three hours. I've got 660 back here in larger bills. We've got between 200 and 250 and change up there. Considering we started with 50 bucks, we're sitting around 900, somewhere in that range. So definitely a strong start on the day. Also, it was uh, 34 degrees when we opened. So I went to, almost right after we opened, I went to Menards and bought a nice space heater that seems to be doing the trick for us. The building's heated, but obviously with the overhead door open, it, it, it cools down quite a bit. So, um, you know, we've got the heaters running, but the, um, you know, when you're sitting in one space collecting money, he gets cold. So we got that set up. Um, good day so far. I'm excited. I also, so that tube TV, someone took it. I put a free sign on it. Somebody took it. I was so happy. That uh, basically saves me $20 in a disposal fee, um, which is awesome. And uh, so it's like $20 tax free because it saves me money. I didn't make money, but it saved me money. And what else? We are done with that store buyout. Everything has either been sold or put out on display. So now it's just about putting Shopco stuff out, a little bit of Office Depot stuff out that's not out yet. And uh, restocking cosmetics and there's just kind of straightening the tables we have a lot of boxes sitting out full of stuff so as tables clear out i'm gonna be putting that on the tables for the most part we're moving a lot of product It's almost noon. I'm trying to get a bank run in before they close. Drop some of this off because they're also closed Monday. So basically I'll have the second half of Saturday and all day Sunday sales. And it won't get dropped off till Tuesday because of Columbus Day slash Indigenous Peoples Day. I think we're, I think Wisconsin, or at least Green Bay is Indigenous Peoples Day. Anyways, it's bank closed day. That's what it is. Um, so after frantically searching for my phone, Forgot to do the time lapse. Uh, this time it was like two hours. So I don't think it was quite two hours. Time, maybe an hour. So yeah, I think I'm gonna have to shave that one down a little. So I'm at Costco. I bought 4,000 bags. I'm personally not a huge fan of this store, um, but I needed bags. I called every business owner I know in town. And nobody has extra for me to buy or to take. I would have bought them. Uh, the only place that offered to give me some bags was. Oh, well, I want this going. There. The only place that offered to give me any bags. Oh, he's got a cart in his truck. That sucks. Uh, was a little boutique shop. But they've got fancy paper bags, and I'm gonna need. At least 500 of them. That's gonna be expensive. 
So, um, had to had to figure something out. I looked online, and it seems like the only place I can get these locally, Costco and Sam's Club. So I went to, uh, well, I made a couple of calls, found somebody who had a Sam's Club membership, met them over here, and got myself some bags. I was ready to sign up for a Sam's Club membership today just to get bags because we're almost out. And I had two cases. We went through close to two bags today. This weekend, I mean, not today. So there's a semi here. Curious. All right. We're filled up. Look at this. All right, once again, this place is trashed. We just closed up. It is 422. Uh, I think we might have broken the streak. The last five days of dollar sale, that was all three days of the last dollar sale, the first two days of this one have been better than the previous. So would you count the first? So I guess the last six days have been better. Each day has been better than the previous. This may be the one that breaks the streak. I don't know if I beat it yesterday, but we'll have to get it all counted up. Look how trash this place is. People really don't respect anything. Um, so many packages being opened, stuff just getting thrown around. This table was covered in glitter. You can still see a lot of it uh, because someone decided to open something. It's just unbelievable. Once these boxes are getting low like this, I go through them. It's basically all trash, empty boxes. Oh, that's actually in there. That's not empty. Bad example. That is, though. I think what people are doing is they're taking it out of the box and leaving it on the table. Or they're taking it out of the box and just buying the item. Like this. I actually think I know what this is. And I think I remember putting it out. Maybe not. Well, one size. I thought it was a scarf. Because I remember that bag ripping when I put it out. But the place just gets trashed. There was someone who literally drove across our grass today. Like, not how people are parking on one area of the grass where the front end of their car is kind of in it. The person literally drove straight through the lawn, went behind my truck in the parking lot, and I don't know how long he was sitting there. I saw it out the window. These were supposed to be two for a dollar, but I didn't feel like printing it again, so we went three for a dollar. Uh, sold almost all of the Kleenex. This is all that's left. So, what's that? Eight boxes. Remember that whole upper part was full? I think we sold a good 100 boxes of Kleenex today. Uh, let's take a look at this room. This room does not get a lot of attention for me during the day. Just because the place gets so crowded. Man, this place is a mess. And it would probably take all night to completely organize the entire thing. And I've been here all day. Huh. I've, pro I've been here all day. I got here at... Um, I'm going to shut that off. I got here at 4, I think. I woke up at 3. I shut my new lights off. That was like so nice. I can't wait to get the rest done. All right, I'm gonna count the money and I will let you know how much we brought in. So I'm getting really sick of counting ones. So I restrapped these 100, but in case I need to tap into it again, I threw this page in the middle, this sheet of paper, there's 50 on either side. That way at the very least, it'll save me on counting 50 of them. I've also got 15 extras and then here's the 10 uh, that we started with. So I am going to, well, I'll throw that somewhere for now. Um, so grand total for the day. Unfortunately, I did not beat yesterday. The six day streak has come to an end, but it's not the worst day of the weekend. I thought it would be. Um, I did not think we would quite hit it. I figured we were gonna be around 26 or 2,700. We finished at $2,955. Meaning the grand total for the weekend so far, 9,001. We got, oops, we got one day left. Uh, I mean, we've been sitting right around 3,000 all three days. 2878, 3168, 2955. I did not count the coins yet, though. 
that will be at the very end probably an extra 20 25 bucks um i think we might come close to 12 grand here i think we might come very close to 12 grand what's my exact average you know i realized it as i was typing into the calculator 9001 divided by three um, it's three thousand dollars and thirty three cents. So my average is right at three grand. If I can meet that average, I don't think I will. But if I can, it's twelve thousand dollars. <laughs> oh, this is awesome! All right, I'm tired. I'm gonna go get a pizza and go home. People are garbage. Yep, garbage. There is a garbage can right inside this door you see it really makes me remember why i closed down my store i hate dealing with people people are trash absolute garbage garbage i tell you if i ever open another store again uh, for the safety of all parties involved we need to hire people to run it so my signs all say saturday i have no time to update them so i'm putting this on them all did someone take this one? No, it's still there. You just can't see it because it's a side profile of it. There it is. Also, it has been so unbelievably windy the past couple of days. These signs, they're like, one of them was like dug deeper into the ground. Another, like I thought someone ran over it at first until I realized it was the wind. All of them are leaning like this. One was, you could see the ground all ripped up around where it was, where the spikes are going in. So, probably a good thing I'm doing this so I can kind of reset them so they can be seen by people driving by. Also worth note, at least now they have the right day, as long as it stays on, they're, they're all soaking wet right now. Um, but it also still says estate sale on them. We have like no pre-owned items left, it's all new items. So uh, that's a little misleading. New items might help bring in more people and the people looking for an estate sale probably gonna be upset with what they see. But I can't imagine the signs bringing many people and they're more so directionals for people who are, who know where they're going, but can't find it. Um, yeah, we'll have new signs for the next sale. That'll help out a lot. And it's time for day four. It is Sunday. So not a lot to put out today. Uh, the entire store buyout was put out yesterday. We finished it up. So what I'm gonna do is go through these boxes. You can see they're getting pretty empty, a lot of trash in them. I'm gonna dig them out. Why is, why is this full of these? Huh, Southwest Depot stuff. Anyways, I'm gonna dig through them and uh, put this stuff out on the tables, kind of straighten up the tables a little bit, see how much stuff we can get through today. I do still have some Shopco stuff to put out. Uh, a lot of it's repetitive. It looks like this was filled up with health and beauty aids. It looks like we sold a lot yesterday though, so I'm just gonna be putting a decent amount of Shopco stuff out. People ripping boxes open to see what's in it. Should say right on here what it is. Anyways. So we're gonna get them out as much as we can today. We are only $999 away from the target. Why this won't sell is beyond me. This has gone through $2 sales now. It's $12 originally. It's a pair of brand new underwear. I don't know why no one wants it. I think I'm gonna throw this away. I don't think anyone's gonna buy that and we're basically all new stuff now. Not much for pre-owned. Yeah. We'll get this, try and straighten it out. Looking through here now. We didn't have a lot in there to begin with. I really need to go through these phone cases. Very surprised this edge banding isn't selling. Whatever was in there is gone. Oh, I think this was uh, those USB chargers. Fidget spinners are doing well. That thing was full. So we sold probably about two thirds of them. This thing of pens is almost gone. Highlighters are officially sold out. No one wants the matte pens. Whatever was in there is gone and now refilled with some other stuff. Uh, all of the dividers are gone. All that's left for the office storage are the paper trays here. Uh, French curves, we sold a few. What was in here? 
whatever this was is gone. I might need to rewatch the video to figure out what I had in here. Uh, let's see. Decent amount of tape sold. That was filled up yesterday. Something else was in there. Scissors, tape. Uh, this was divided into two bins. People love opening these. I hate people. Cosmetics. We didn't clear out as much as I was hoping for yesterday. Um, I loaded up these tables or these two shelves with it. And I did not have to refill it once. So um, that died off a bit. But we did still sell a decent amount. All right. I hate people. These did really well. I had to refill it yesterday. Five for a buck. Uh, got, got rid of a decent amount of those. Uh, I put these out late yesterday, like within the last hour. These came from the first shop go I bought out, and there were a ton of them. So we'll see how these do today. Uh, more of this edge banding. Man, people make such a mess. Here, look at this. There was, the only thing under this table is this box of toys. All of these were on top of the table. Oh, I hate people. Although, it looks like... All but this calendar sold, so I might have to uh, roll up the others and put them out. Uh, what else? Packer ornaments are getting down there. There aren't many left. This, this guy's in the way. Um, that's starting to empty out. So we're going to try and consolidate some of this stuff. Um, see if we can get as much onto the tables as possible. Rather than these bins, look at this, this one's almost empty. Um, ideally, I'd like to have just about everything on tables rather than under it today. This was dust pans. I sold through two boxes of these, so this I can restock. I think I've got one or two more boxes full. And there we go. And this might be my last bin of dust pans, but I got them for eight and a half cents each. So we're doing really well selling these for a buck. All right, we're kind of sorting. I've got this, these pins here. This is general merchandise. This is trash. Uh, I was expecting to find more of those. That's just an empty one. This was under the table. I'm just pulling it since it's mostly junk. Uh, here's phone cases. And here's a table clean on top and below. So now I'm gonna start shifting stuff over. This little pile of stuff that needs to get put elsewhere, cosmetics, jewelry. So we try to keep this family friendly. The audio will be family friendly, but uh, have your kids look away. In three, two, one. So I found this. It's a banner that hangs across your uh, wall or ceiling, probably for a bachelorette party. All right. Well, I guess that's getting sold. All right, you can let your kids watch again. We're family friendly again. So this is what that table used to look like. Stuff like this. Now look how nice this is. All laid out neatly. We've got everything that was on the table is still on the table. Everything that was in the boxes below is on the table. The only exception is trash, phone cases. These were in boxes below and that thing and like 10 pieces of makeup. It just looks so much better. It's displayed better. When people walk in and they see this, they're less likely to want to buy stuff. Granted, you know, as we get through the day, there's not much you can do about it. But at least we can start strong in the morning with neat-looking tables. Additionally, people who were here yesterday and saw a mess and come back to this, they're going to think, oh, maybe they took everything out and restocked it. And they're going to dig a little closer. And maybe something that they didn't see yesterday, even though it was out, they will buy it today. Look at the underside of this table. Top's looking nice though. Now we're down to this side. Still have to do that. I uh, got through a couple more bins. We now have two bins full of trash. Much better. Could use a vacuum in here, but we're not gonna have time for that today. Now we just need to get that nightmare. Keep in mind, it doesn't all have to be done this morning. A lot of going through these lower boxes can happen over the course of the sale too. It's really organizing the tables is what's more important right now. And this room is done. I even once, went, did a once over with the vacuum. 
We got, uh, there were so many boxes in here that we consolidated to get on the tables. Tables look nice. And uh, boxes were consolidated. This is just phone cases, which there are many still on the tables. This is just bubble mailers. And then this is just a mix of stuff. We took four of these boxes out full of trash. So this room looks a thousand times better. Now let's do the same thing with all of this. It is now 6.11, so there's no way I'm gonna get all of this done before we open. But if I focus on the center tables, I think I could probably get all of the center tables done. Maybe. We've got like an hour before I have to start pulling out the sign and doing ads and stuff. All right, we got this table organized over and under. Binders are three for a buck. I think I mentioned that yesterday. Looks nice. Uh, I'm probably just gonna leave this how it is. I can go with the cases. Yeah, this looks nice as it is. All right, next step is gonna be this run of tables. We did it. I don't know the exact number, but right now, we are just over. $10,000 this weekend, four days. That makes me so happy. Definitely not gonna hit that 12 or 13 I was kind of hoping for after seeing the first couple of days, but hey, I made 10 grand selling stuff for a dollar in four days. That makes me really, really happy. You know, I could make 20 grand on Amazon over the next four days or on eBay over the next four days, but this, is so much more exciting because it's cash in my hand. I can see tangible items leaving the building. It's just better in my opinion. Obviously, I'd rather make 20 grand than 10, but you get you get the point that I'm saying. I'm really happy. 4.30, we just finished. Tables are pretty cleared out. I actually was doing other things for the past probably three hours or so. So I would say I probably stopped stocking tables. That's a mouthful. Uh, probably stopped around noon and then stopped organizing and straightening around one or two o'clock. Let me show you what it looks like. Crayons are just about gone. That tape is actually, this tape was full when we started. Uh, so got rid of a lot of that. Scissors looks more full than it did before. I guess people were digging. Um, people just did not seem to want those clips. Sold a lot of that tape, but that's one box. I've got like six or seven like this. I estimate about 4,000 rolls. Uh, let's see, still sold half the dustpans from this box I put out this morning. That's looking pretty bare. Yeah, looking pretty good. Still can't get rid of those things. Um, so yeah, tables looking pretty empty. I would have thought I was going to sell all of these out because I had some similar ones. They weren't for the Echo Show, but it was for something just as obscure. And I sold a whole stack of them really quickly. wonder why those stayed. Uh, sold a decent amount of those, surprisingly. Pails, that's what's left. I did restock that yesterday. Or this morning, I should say. Cosmetics. Didn't sell. It seems like day two was the best day for cosmetics. But we, we sold a decent amount. Today wasn't a great day, comparatively speaking. Normally, it was a, would have been a really good day, but consider what we had the past few days, not so much. Uh, let's see. Tables are actually pretty cleared out. These definitely would have sold, but these were one of the last things that I put out. So I might hold on to that, those. I've got seven of them. Hold on to them for the next sale. But well, most of this other stuff is just gonna go. That's all that's left of the books. I sold a decent amount of books. I probably made up a good 200 bucks on these books. Uh, the rest will just get tossed back on that pallet and we'll sell the pallet of books. Uh, oh wow, sold a lot of these table runners. Those were good. Those I'm gonna hold on to. If I don't sell them in the next sale, I'll at least hold on to them for the, uh, around the 4th of July, I can bring them to a consignment shop or something. Those boxes are looking pretty bare. We moved a lot of product. Kind of sad this wasn't picked up. The lid's broken, that's why. But uh, you never know. Maybe, uh, well, I guess I'll probably just throw it in the trash then. Shame to do that because those are nice, but not much else you can do with it. Goodwill isn't gonna take it. 
Uh, the ornaments, we sold so many of these. Some people would complain about the price. You're really gonna ask a dollar for this? But we'd always point out they were originally eight. They even clearanced them after Christmas for over three. Pretty good deal. I'd, I'd say these are worth a buck. Uh, I put this out late, Easter grass, 10 for a dollar. That would have me at a cost of 80 cents, but I've got so many of them. They were originally four bucks, so that means I paid eight cents each. I've got so many of those. Uh, what else? This was table is basically all phone cases. Cleared out a lot. I've refilled that table a few times. This room isn't as much of a nightmare as I thought it would be. Um, if you're wondering why this thing didn't sell, because this should easily be worth like 30 bucks. And it's because it's got some pretty serious damage. This, I'm a little surprised, didn't sell. It got a little beat up. This wrinkle is actually just the protective plastic that they put on it for, uh, you know, because it's new. That got beat up, though, from customers. But, I mean, it was in immaculate condition when we first put it out. Why did they take all of those out? I had a bin right here that had, well, at the time, nothing but those mailers. Oh, I hate people so much. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's another book. We sold through so much. Look how empty these tables are. These sold a decent amount of them. I get about two bucks after fees on Amazon, but I've got probably a thousand of them. So I'm happy selling 40 or 50 or so for a buck each. Moved a lot of stuff. iPhone 7 Plus cases. Come out here. Let's look at the rack. The rack is pretty empty. Looks like we've been ransacked. I was surprised we didn't sell more of these. S7 Edge, is that a new one or is an old one? I'm not entirely sure. Selfie mirrors, there's only three left. Did that one get cracked? Yeah, I think that one's... No, you can see it goes over the edge. That's gotta be a glue streak or something. I cleared out these tables a little bit. This was the one that I focused a lot when I was refilling. This rack got emptied out. Uh, this table. Oh, by the way, I closed the door. Here, let me show you what I did. We were getting too cold. It was 38 degrees. The heater by us wasn't uh, cutting it. So before I had the tables continuing this way, so there were two of them side by side right here, came out to about here. What I did is I got rid of one and shoved the stuff on that table back there and then uh, rotated this one sideways. And then we closed the door. Um, yeah, didn't want to uh, freeze the rest of the day. Uh, then up here, the last bit. This area didn't really clear out much, or that one. And the reason is because when people change their mind on stuff, these are the two shelves they put it on. But uh, we did move a lot of stuff. Those Packer ornaments, I probably had a couple hundred of these. They did really well. What was the original price? Um, 10 bucks, clearance for three. Oddly, original price was higher than those, which makes sense, but clearance price was lower. Uh, and then this, I already started cleaning up while I was waiting for the last customers to leave. Here's how I'm sorting it. Now these, I'm gonna drop off at a consignment store. They're wooden Christmas cards. I don't know for sure if they'll take them, but I'll probably get two or three bucks each in the store. This is Christmas stuff that I'm saving for the next sale. We're gonna do a big Christmas uh, or a whole bunch of Christmas stuff in the next one. This, and this is springtime seasonal. Look at this. It's a unicorn egg. Anyways, these two are springtime seasonal. I probably won't put them in the next sale, but I will hold on to them until springtime. Cleared out so, so, so much stuff. So let's get a total. My bag of change got bigger. I was estimating like 20 bucks. It might be more like 50. Just total guess since uh, I wasn't up here much. Uh, but we're going to count this all out. My box of money. This is only the billfold that we had during the sale and then the change that we kept behind the counter. So we'll count all this up plus the stuff in my office and get a grand total. So first, let's talk about coins. I had exactly 40 bucks in change. It was actually $40.10. When I was counting, I dropped a dime and I had no idea where it went. So we're going to say $40 even. 
uh, 36 and quarters, two and halves, and then, I'm sorry, one and halves, two half dollars, and then three in other denominations. No silver. I checked every single coin. It's very easy to do if you're wondering. Look at the edge. See how it's brown? If it's silver all the way around, not brown, that means you've got a silver coin. And uh, same with halves. They're worth more money that way. Dimes the same way. Nickels. Look for the mint mark, either a P, a D, or an S above the building. Anyways, so 40 bucks in change. That is over the course of the four days. I don't count the change until the end because why? Uh, so grand total today, not including change, of course, is 1,488. Not as bad as I thought we would do. Uh, Sundays have historically been bad. I did about half what the other days have been. Uh, so that gives us a grand total of $10,529. I did deduct 50 bucks before coming to that number because we started with $50 and change. Oh man, that feels so good. I made 10 grand, 10529 A typical sale for me is about 3000 ish um, Now I'm exhausted and starving. I'm going to go home and eat.